right, so let's go ahead and look at the Weebly platform here in 2022 and see how easy they are to use. So here we are at the home screen. And before we dive into actually building out a website, I would love to just kind of take a look and see, you know, what they, they have. So first of all, it looks like they have websites, they have online stores. I'd like to also look at more. Okay, so different, some different themes in here, different features. And then I also like to look at the pricing. Okay, um, so then I'm gonna come and scroll down to the bottom and just kind of take a look here and see if there's anything that kind of jumps out at me. Um, I'd like to, okay, so they have different uh, stores uh, that use their platforms. Uh, they have a couple different easy steps, get going, get online, start selling and start growing. Okay, so it looks like they're really kind of catering to like online stores, okay? Um, but it looks like they have some regular um, kind of brochure style websites too. So if you're looking for that, Weebly would be an option for you. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on this tab. All right. And we're just going to take a look at the different themes that they have. So I'm going to go ahead and click the view themes here, drag and drop builder, custom fonts. Okay. So they kind of have a platform where you can build line upon line. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Um, video background, site search, video, you can use HTML and JavaScript. They also have an image editor. Uh, let's see here. Okay, it looks like they have some analytics that you can attach to your website to see how well you're doing. It looks like there's an app for the website as well. Um, looks like there's one-click SSL certification. So if you're um, selling something that's really good, hosting, so that way you don't have to worry about hosting. So they kind of take care of that for you. Okay, awesome. So we're good here. Let's go ahead and take a look at some themes. So they've got things for or themes for online stores, businesses, portfolio websites, uh, personal websites, events. And if you want to blog, they have the capability of attaching a blog there as well. All right. So let's see here. So, okay. We just looked at what they have. Um, we can actually get out of this one, get out of this one, and then the pricing. So they are free to start. You get a free SSL. Uh, so if you immediately kind of want to start a store, I think, you know, this is going to give you the ability to do that. Um, I don't see anything over here that says that you wouldn't be able to start a store on the free level. You see, it looks like you can go ahead and start a store. So that's really, really cool that, um, um, that Weebly is becoming competitive in, in that re respect because um, I know that a lot of website builders want you to pay for something if they're gonna if you're gonna use their platform to, to sell. So maybe they have a percentage or something else like that that they 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 take. Okay. Um, so we'll we'll definitely look in, into that. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and just kind of create a website here and. Um, you know, just get started just, just like you would. So I'm going to go ahead and speed through this portion here. All right, so it looks like I already set up a, a website or at least an account. So what I am going to do is I am actually going to sign into that account um, and we are going to get going. So let's go ahead and do that now. So it looks like you can create a website through Square or through um, Weebly. I'm actually going to go ahead and try Weebly. And what we're gonna do is we are going to build just a personal website first. And then on the next video, or if we have time in this video, we will go ahead and build an e-commerce uh, website, okay? So let's just take a look here. Coming soon. Oh, there, okay. So we will do a business website. 
and we're gonna do like something for a barber, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and start editing here, all right? Okay, so it pulls you into a completely different um, kind of builder, okay? So I'm just gonna put test barber Okay, and it's gonna end it with that weebly.com. Okay, so testbarber.weebly.com. Okay, so okay, test barbers. Okay, let's go ahead and search for that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I'm gonna click done. So the thing is, is you're gonna have to get your own domain name at some point. Okay, because well, you're using their platform, and you know. If in order to use it for free, you're gonna have to use their domain name, okay? So, um, it looks like here, here's the column on the left-hand side where you have all of the different options for, you know, uh, making changes. I'm pretty sure you can drag and drop uh, any selection over to, to, to this part here, but they give you kind of a static pre-built uh, website where you can come in here and you can make your adjustments. You have, they have different pages that you can go to. They have different themes where you can actually come in here and you can change uh, the theme. Uh, but we just, we just chose this theme. So I'm, I thought maybe color would be something here uh, that you could change, but that's, that's not it. You can add a, a search box if you want to. I'm not sure where that actually ends up, but let's just go ahead and leave that and see where that actually ends up coming up. And you can change the colors here. Um, let's see. Okay, so that just adds guides there. All right, so let's go ahead and click on apps. So, okay, so these apps here, uh, and I may create a separate video on how these particular apps work. Um, they just add more to your website. So you have boost traffic, spike sales, get social, um, and apps that are made by Weebly. So I'd have to actually take a look into these, but you know, I can, I can tell you what some of this stuff do, but I don't want to get too into the weeds. Um, but we'll come back to this a little bit later. All right. So then we have settings, right? So you can come in and name your website. So I did test barbers, right? Um, you can hit that save button. So it's going to be business. SSL is enabled website password should have already put that in. Um, that's all good. So this stuff is for like your Google Analytics if you want AdSense and all that kind of stuff. Then you have what's called uh, SEO. So you can, you'll be able to fill out this information here. Okay, and okay, so here's where Google Analytics would go, Webmaster Tool, or you could do like Facebook Pixel, stuff like that. Um, let's see here, editors, okay, nothing there. So you can, uh, let's say if you have somebody that works on your website, you can actually add them here by most likely putting their name and email. And it looks like in order to do this, you have to be on a paid plan, okay? Um, so let's see here, go to my apps. There's no apps here, so we're gonna leave that alone. And then we have a support section here. So I'll go ahead and open that up. All right, so it doesn't look like you need to create a separate account. Sometimes when you have a support system, you have to create a separate account for it. And if I click on this here, nothing there. So let me just see something. If you needed, it looks like contact. Let me see what happens if you contact them. Okay, so they do have this chat box widget down here. Okay, very good. Um, I was looking for a ticketing system and it doesn't look like they have that. So let's go back to the build section, okay? So we have the services page, the about page, the updates, and the contact page. If I come home right now, I can just click anywhere, okay? Um, and I can make my changes, okay? So just like that, I can click here. Anything that's like a box or a button, I can actually just click in there. I can actually put a link and then I'll unlink. So I'll click this. And you can either point it to a different website URL or we're gonna put this um, back over to the about page. So we're just gonna create that about page and we're gonna leave that alone. We're gonna, okay. And then if I click on this, on the, I don't wanna click here, here, here. I wanna click on the outside of this. Um, you can edit the background down here. 
okay so you can come over here and you can replace the image if you had an image on your computer okay let me just click on this again okay so i'm going to press cancel here so edit background you can you can remove the, the scrolling effect all that kind of stuff if you want to click advanced okay and you can attach this header to more pages so you can attach it to all the other pages that you have if you wanted to okay so let's go ahead and scroll down and we're now on a page that has um, no image in it however if you edit the background this one you'll be able to either add an image to it okay or you can come in here and you can change the color okay or You can add a gradient to it or you can add a video to it okay but we're not going to do any of those things and then when you click not here not here but on the outside you'll notice that you can move you can move this okay um, on this page and you can either go down or up now you can't move it up because this header is static so it's going to stay there but you can move this down if you wanted to okay and now this section becomes that okay but what we're going to do is move that up so that it makes sense okay so then you have these little so anything that you want to actually directly change you can double click on if you want to get rid of it you can press this x button here delete it and if you want to bring it back you can press something like uh, let's see here so command z is not necessarily working for me but let me just go down here just a second here settings nope we already went through the settings here okay okay so this website builder um they don't they don't have anything right now that i can see where you can um, bring it back quickly some website editors where you can just press Control z or they'll have kind of like any your work history um they'll have your work history where you can bring back anything that you've been doing so let me just take a peek really quickly and make sure they don't have that and i don't see that they do okay so that looked like an icon okay and there's no search box in here for that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over here and i'm going to look for something called icons all right so it doesn't look like they have that there however it may have been just an image so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to put that there now there was this little blue line okay that appeared okay it'll appear in every section right wherever you want to drop something off at there'll be a blue line so this is the very top okay and then i'm going to click on this and i'm going to search i just want to see if they have any uh all right so it looks like they do but i'm i'm not going to worry about worry too much about uh this particular one right here okay so then you can just click in here you can change any of the information you can double click on the image you can edit the image okay um, you can double click on it and replace the image okay so all of this stuff here you can just go through and you can you know make make your changes to it okay now this shop gallery give me just a second here i'm going to click right here i'm going to click right okay i'm going to click interesting all right so they're using this right here which it gives them this really cool effect here okay you have your google maps you can put there as well but again all of this will be pre-built and your job will become be to come over here you can edit the background images to put your images in there and everything else like that okay now let's say that you don't have any updates okay you don't have any updates at all what you're going to do is go over to pages right and you're going to want to remove that from your website because guess what you just have services you want people to know about you and you have this contact section here 
it does look like this search box did actually finally pop up. <laughs> so there's that there. So I'm gonna click on services right now and just kind of take a look at this, see if anything pops out at me. It's scheduling an appointment, it's a button. All right, so let me go to build. All right, and then we have our buttons right here, okay? So you just kind of double click on a button and then you can link it. Uh, let's see where they're linking it to. I can't necessarily tell where they're they're linking it to, but I'm gonna go standard page and contact, okay? So that's where that will go, all right? Again, you can just click on the background outside of any of these as long as nothing is highlighted. You can change the color, okay? Let me change the color here. I'm gonna just keep it white for now. Okay, so this right here, this, this menu, okay, um, is a footer, all right? So, if you get something like this, it's most likely gonna be, I'm actually gonna get rid of the search option here. It's not needed. And what I'm looking for is the footer option. So that's not there right now. So I'm just gonna click on this. I'm going to change this. Okay, well, never mind. We're going to leave that alone. Okay, let me just click on this here. Oh, fantastic. So you can actually just delete um, the anything that you don't want there on the bottom. Okay. And you may end up actually having to do that on the home page as well. Let me see. Okay, so boom, you can just delete that there like that, okay? And then that goes like that. I wonder why. So that's a little bit different on this page. It was built different. However, let me see if you can actually, this section here, oh, nope, it's all, oh. No, I was gonna see if you can actually copy and move it over, but it's not, it's not like that. So let me just come over here. Yeah, once again, we'll just go ahead and delete that. You probably want to change the copyright. Okay, you can come over here and change the individual images. Okay, as long as you have an image on your computer. And you have the contact button right here. Okay, so you can add your information here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is publish this website. And if I wanted to upgrade, I would get it. I could probably get it. I would be able to get a different link most likely but let's go ahead and exit out of here okay, and put our eyes on the platform now that we've actually published a website okay so now that this website is published okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to domains so yeah you could use a domain name that you already have, or you can actually purchase one and connect this one still in their, their free kind of, um, in their, in their free model, right? So like, let's say you had a domain name from GoDaddy or you had a domain, donate domain name from, um, like Google domains, you would essentially be able to put in the domain name and then they would have you edit the DNS records. Okay, and I know that's kind of foreign to some of you guys, but it's pretty simple um, once you know how to do it. Or you can actually just purchase the domain name here and use it here. Okay, so that is all that I have for Weebly. And um, it looks like Weebly in 2022 is going to suffice as, you know, still a really good platform to use. And I will do another one a little bit later on building a e-commerce store inside of this platform. So I'll talk to you later.